Hello everyone, we will be solving for the principal amount gamit ang formula ng compound interest. This is our formula, etong A, this is our final amount, eto yung pera, pagkatapos nating idagdag, yun na compute natin na compound interest dun sa principal amount or yung ating initial amount. Our final amount is represented by this A, tapos ang principal amount naman natin ay yung P na to. For this video, eto yung hahanapin natin, tapos it is multiplied to 1, plus R, this is our rate of interest, dapat nasa decimal siya, tapos divided by N, ito yung number of period in a year, kapag we are compounding annually, isang beses lang sa isang taon, our N is just equal to 1, if we are compounding semi-annually, then ang N natin is just equal to 2, dalawang beses sa isang taon, then kapag we are compounding quarterly, that is 4 times in a year, and lastly, monthly, the value of our N is equal to 12. Then, etong nasa loob is raised to our exponent na n times t. Where yung n, this is still the period. Tapos yung t natin, this is our time in years. Now that we have our formula, let us proceed sa ating example. A businessman received 40,000 pesos from a bank that pays 4% interest to be compounded semi-annually. And that is in a span of 7 years. How much was the initial deposit? Sulat natin yung ating given values mula dun sa ating problem. Kung ano yung meron tayo, we have our 40,000 pesos. Ito yung natanggap nung businessman. So this was not the amount initially deposited, pero ito na yung nasa dulo. Ito yung natanggap niya. So this is our final amount. We represent this as our letter A. This is equal to 40,000 pesos. And then yung banko daw, it pays 4% interest. If we have our 4% here, ito yung decimal point, kailangan naka-decimal tayo kapag nagko-compute ng compound interest, then we only have to move two decimal places to the left. Ito na yung magiging bagong decimal point natin. Our 4% is just equal to 0 0.04 in decimal. Kaya isulat natin, our rate of interest R is just equal to 0 0.04. Then it is to be compounded semi-annually. Kapag sinabi natin na semi-annual, dalawang beses sa isang taon. Kaya our n, that is just equal to 2, and then in a span of 7 years. Ito yung time natin, our t, this is just equal to 7. Then the question, how much was the initial deposit? Ang pinapahanap sa atin ay ang initial amount, so we have to solve for the value of our p, this is our principal amount. Ngayon na meron na tayo ng ating given values, let us proceed to our Solution, sulat natin siya. Ito na yung ating computation process. Let us have our formula for compound interest. Our A, final amount is equal to the principal times 1 plus rate over number of period. This is raised to N times T. Ang gagawin na lang natin, we have to substitute yung values na nasa given papunta sa ating formula. So let us do our substitution. Our A, that is equal to 40,000. Palit natin siya dito, then this is equal to yung P, eto yung hinahanap natin, kaya this is still unknown, P pa rin siya, this is times 1, plus ang R natin is 0 0.04. Over ang N, number of period natin, we have our 2, this is raised to, ang N natin, according to our given, is 2, tapos ang time natin is 7. Kaya yung exponent natin na NT, that is just equal to 2 times 7. Then we compute yung simple muna ang galawin natin. Let us have our 40,000 still. Dito sa ating left side, ito pa rin naman siya. So this is 40,000. This is equal to our principal amount times yung nasa loob, yung kaya natin gawin ay yung 0 0.04 divided by 2. Kaya yun ay magiging 1 plus that is equal to 0 0.02. This is raised to yung nasa exponent natin na 2 times 7 that is just equal to 14. Then we simplify this part. Our 40,000 still equal to the principal amount P times kapag ginawa natin yung addition, that is equal to 1.02 raised to 14. Then ang kailangan lang natin ay yung value ng P. Again, pwede natin itong i-compute sa ating calculator. Pero for us to avoid round of error, ang gagawin natin, tanggalin na natin itong buong to para yung pinalang yung matitira dito sa ating right side. So for us to do that, let us divide. 
both sides of our equation by etong buo na to, that is 1.02 raised to 14. Both dito sa right side tsaka dito sa ating left side ng ating equation. Kung titignan natin yung kasama ng ating P dahil pareho yung numerator tsaka yung denominator, we can perform our division and answer natin dito is 1. Then as we multiply 1 times P, yung ating right side, this will become equal to P. Then yung nandito, pindutin na lang natin sa ating calculator, that is equal to 30,315. Then pagpalitin lang natin yung ating left side tsaka right side, our P, yung principal amount natin, that is just equal to 30,315 pesos. This is our final answer. Ito yung ating principal amount. Kaya as we go back with our given values, yung ating problem, yung businessman natin, siya ay nagdeposito ng 30,315 pesos, kaya siya nakakuha ng ating 40,000 at a rate of 4% to be compounded semi-annually in a span of 7 years. So this is how we compute for the principal amount gamit ang formula ng compound interest. Hello everyone, I am Sir Kenneth of STEM Teacher PH. Kung nakatulong sa iyo itong video na to, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and click the notification bell para updated kayo sa ating uploads. Bye!